Good morning, friends. This is Alan, Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, with another video. This time, I will show you how to upgrade your current Windows operating system to Windows 11, even though your PC does not meet the hardware requirements of Microsoft Windows 11. Why upgrade to Windows 11? Microsoft Windows 10 end of support date is October 14, 2025. After this date, Microsoft will no longer provide security updates, technical support, or feature updates for Windows 10. What will happen after the end of the support date? After October 14, 2025, Windows 10 PCs will still work but they will be more susceptible to viruses and malware. Microsoft will no longer be available to answer questions about Windows 10. What are the options? Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 11. You can purchase a new PC with Windows 11. You can install Windows 11 on your current PC. You can pay also a fee to receive security updates for an additional year after the end of support date. You can also keep operating as usual, but be aware that one day your software and applications might stop running because your Windows operating system is too old. If you choose this, then avoid connecting your computer to the internet. Use it only locally. Do not upgrade your current applications. Leave everything the way it is. Because some amateur radio software only runs on Windows operating system, and some operators are only familiar with Windows operating systems, I hope that you will find this video useful. So let's get started. For this procedure, we will need a USB thumb drive with a minimum of 16GB, an old PC running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, and an internet connection. The first thing we need to do is to download Rufus. Open your internet browser. Open Google and search for Rufus. This is what we want. Scroll down to Downloads and download the appropriate version for you. My PC is an X64, so I will download Rufus-4.6.exe standard Windows X64. Note that Version 4.6 is the latest at the time of making this video. Save this in your downloads folder. Step 2. Download Windows 11 ISO. We need to download Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft website or open your internet browser, go to Google and search for Microsoft Windows 11 download. Either way, you want to end up on this website. Go to Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click on Download Now. A file called Media Creation Tool will be downloaded to the Downloads folder. Once it finished, click on MediaCreationTool.exe. Open file. Windows 11 setup will start. Click on Accept. Select Language and Region. Choose the language and edition appropriate for you. Press Next.
Choose which media to use. Choose ISO file. Press Next. Go to your Downloads folder. Click Save. Click Finish. Step 3. Use Rufus 4.6 to make a bootable Windows 11 USB thumb drive. Click on File Explorer. Click on Downloads folder. Double click on Rufus 4.6. Rufus Update Policy. Click Yes to allow Rufus to check for application updates online. Drive properties will show up. Plug a USB thumb drive into the PC. On the Drive Properties device, choose the USB thumb drive. Boot selection, choose disk or ISO, press Select. Choose the file name Windows Disk Image File. Click Open. What's the progress on the status bar? Boot selection, Windows.ISO Image option, Standard Windows installation Partition scheme, GPT Target system, UEFI, non-CSM File system, large, FAT32, cluster size, 32 kilobyte. Click Start. A Windows user experience will open up. Check all six boxes. Click OK. Read the warning, and if you're still sure, click OK. Watch the status for the progress. Wait until it is done. Press close. This USB drive is now a bootable Windows 11 media. Plug this USB drive into the PC you wish to upgrade. Power up and select the USB drive as the boot device. Wait until Windows 11 shows up. Once Windows 11 shows up, it will prompt you to select language to install and the time and currency formats. Select the one for you. Click Next. Select the keyboard layout or settings. Choose the right one for you. Click Next. Select Setup option. Choose Install Windows 11. Then, place a check mark on I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps, and settings. Click Next. Windows 11 setup will now start. When product keys pops up, enter the Windows 11 product key if you have. If you don't have, a product key, select I don't have a product key. Select image. I chose Windows 11 Pro. Click Next. A license agreement will show up. Click Next. Select location to install Windows 11. Here, Please be very careful when selecting the location or the disk drive. In my case, there were only two disks that showed up, disk 0 and disk 1. I can tell that this one is my USB drive with Windows 11 in it. Disk 0 is my internal hard drive that contains my old operating system. This is where I will install Windows 11. I choose 
this zero partition one and select delete partition i choose again this zero partition one and then select delete partition i chose for the third time this zero partition one and select delete partition i choose for the fourth time this zero partition one and then select delete partition i kept doing this step until i only see one disk zero with unallocated space showing the total size of my internal hard drive 465.8 gigabytes unallocated click next to install windows 11 on disk zero a ready to install will show up. Read and verify that there are checks on install Windows 11 and a check on keep nothing. Click install. Don't leave your PC unattended at this point. Watch the progress of the installation. Around 78%, you will see this message that your PC will restart in a few moments. At this point, be ready to unplug the Windows 11 USB drive from the PC once the screen or the monitor turns black. The PC will now boot using the internal hard drive and it will continue the installation of Windows 11. After the restart, a progress in percentage will show up. Wait until its completion. Your PC might restart several times. Just let it do its thing. Eventually, you will see the logo of Windows 11. Then, if you are using a wireless connection, it will prompt you to connect to your wireless access point. If your PC is connected to your LAN using an Ethernet cable, the installation will continue automatically. Once the installation of Windows 11 is finished, go to the desktop and you will see a message that you will need to activate this Windows 11. Click Activate Now. Windows 11 will now apply a digital license from Microsoft Activation Server. Ensure that you successfully activated your Windows 11. From here, perform Windows Update to ensure you have the latest version of Windows 11. Congratulations! You are done! I hope you find this video useful. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, 73 to all.